For my Math 261 Applied Calculus students, I did create some similar review problems for your application quiz number three. Um, so I wanted to go over those similar problems. There are three problems in total. Um, I think I have about 10 minutes to go over at least one problem. Let me go with the easiest one, number two, okay? So uh, number two is about spread of rumor or spread of news, I think, in your um, actual quiz. So I'll go over number two. Um, a new rumor spreads within a school with 500 students. The number of students who have heard the rumor after t hours is given by n of t equals 500 over 1 plus 25 e to the negative 0.7 to the teeth power, okay? So that's the function that will give us how many people heard this rumor, okay? But what they're asking is a little different. When will the rumor be spreading at the greatest rate? They're not asking you to find the maximum number of people who will hear this rumor, and that will be 500 because there are 500 people in this school, right? But rumor will spread, right? And it's good. And you know, in the beginning, maybe it's not fast as spreading as fast. Like maybe just one person's talking about it, two people talking about it. But after like maybe like two hundred people talking, then everybody's hearing about it. It's gonna spread so much faster. But if everybody heard about it, like let's say that there are like four hundred and fifty people already uh, heard about this rumor, then it's not gonna spread as fast because um, everybody knows about it already. Okay. So how do you find um, the moment? Um, the rumor will be spreading at the greatest rate. So what they are asking you to find here is um, when will n prime of t, the rate um, at which the number of people who heard about this rumor per uh, hour is the greatest. When will this n prime of t uh, maximize, be maximized. They're not asking us to find the maximum number of people who heard the rumor. They're asking us to find uh, when will this rate of change be maximized? Like, the, the, when will the spreading be um, at the greatest rate? So, um, if you were to do this um, in a long way, you will have to find the first derivative and the second derivative find a point of inflection but i do want to point you to a a, a section in the textbook um there's a formula that um hold on let's go to my math lab and let's open up that textbook because there is a formula that will make this very easy for you um so you will need to go open up your textbook and let me see if i can remember the section number So open up your e-text, chapter three. Oh no, it's just listed by section names. I think three seven is demand, maybe three eight implicit. Okay, open up section 3.8. I think it's since 3.8. And um, oh yeah, we are in the right section. So implicit differentiation and logarithmic differentiation. So go a couple pages to the right, and you will see a section called, oh, here we go. I wonder if I can zoom in. Application, point of diminishing return. Um, they talk about the example, and I know you guys read this section, but you see the, the section, uh, the, the, the logistic function that we are actually working with, okay? Where did my iPad go? Hold on, my iPad is hiding. Oh no, I probably brought it down too far down. Oh, it's right here. So you see the logistic function that they're giving us? F of t equals L over. So in our case, what is L? The numerator. Okay, I'll write those down. Okay, because we will be using some of these pieces to solve this. So L is 500. Okay, and what? We have 1 plus. 1 plus C, and can you see that our C value is 25? So write down capital C is 25. And what else? Um, e raised to the negative RT power. What's R? R is 0 0.7. So we wrote these down. And you can tell this is a logistic function, right? This is a logistic 
function. So what are they talking about? Uh, um, about this logistic function. So, um, they talk about they actually give you the the formula for point of inflection. Okay, the point of inflection happens at natural log of c divided by r, and that's the x value or the t value where this point of inflection will happen. And that's really all we have to find for this problem. But you know, in this section it kind of goes on and talk a little more about why this point is so. Um, it's, it's actually the answer for this problem. Um, this point is called the point of diminishing returns. And if you read this textbook a little bit further, like down here over here in this orange box, can you guys see? The point of diminishing returns is the point of inflection of the logistic function f. Here, look at this part. f prime of t is maximized. The rate is maximized at this point. Beyond this point, f prime of t decreases so in our situation you know what's happening is the rumor is spreading faster and faster and faster but when we hit this point the rumor will be spreading at a slower rate so this is exactly the point that we want to find for this problem and to find this point you just need this formula okay so i'm going to go ahead and write this formula down and i'll go back to my note okay so using the point of diminishing um return okay so point of inflection, or you can call it point of diminishing return. Uh, whoopsie, sorry. Formula is, um, and we just really need what? This T value, right? Um, well, but I'll, I'll write the whole thing. Is natural log of C divided by r for the the x value or the t value and l divided by 2 for the y coordinate okay or the function value so i wrote down what i really need and that's really all i need to use and i was thinking like does this problem like whoever designed this problem did they want you guys to find the second derivative and all that but when i found a section in the textbook that actually gives out the formula and i saw the room for this problem was just a half a page i think this will be just fine so if you guys do this on your on your application quiz this week that will be fine just tell me that you're using this formula so let's go ahead and find the moment uh, the rumor will be spreading at the greatest rate. That will be t equals natural log of c divided by r. And now what was the c value? c was 25. So you're going to have to plug in 25 there. And r was 0.7. So you just have to plug in that. 0.7 over there so we don't really care about that l that's gonna actually gonna give us the y coordinate so um natural log of 25 divided by 0 0.7 so how many hours and this rumor is spreading in the school so let me go and open up a scientific calculator and type that in okay desmo scientific so I need to evaluate what natural log of 25 divided by 7 is. And that comes out to be about, oh, wow. Well, that rumor is spreading very fast. Um, I go write down this number, and then we'll talk about this, okay? Approximately, I'll just round this up. Approximately 0 0.46 hours. Okay, 0 0.46 hours. Now, how many minutes is that? Just out of curiosity. Um, just out of curiosity. How many minutes is that? If I take this and multiply this by 60 minutes in an hour, um, about <laughs> like 27 minutes and 60 seconds. Or, or probably that's not going to be. Uh, approximately 28 minutes. This rumor is spreading at the fastest rate. So I think it's okay if you guys just want to leave it in hours. The unit is in hours. That's fine because I think they're asking for um, when will the rumor be spreading at the greatest rate. And this T was in hours, not in minutes. So I don't really need you to convert it into minutes unless you really want to. Uh, but that's how you can find the moment, the time that the rumor will be spreading at the greatest rate. But at this time, how many people will know about this rumor? If you wonder, okay, not that that they were asking for it but if you plug in to the second now l is what 500 right 
you do 500 divided by 2, that's what? 250 students. So after 0.46 hours, okay, after 28 minutes, 250 students in the school will know about this rumor. And that is when this rumor is spreading at the fastest or greatest rate. And after that, it's going to slow down because of more people know about this rumor than don't know about this rumor. So, of course, like, it can't spread as fast. But that is how you can do example or, or question number two. And the one that you will have is very, very similar to this. I think it's talking about spreading a news um, within a company of like so however many employees. But I wanted to create some extra examples and go over with them to prepare you for the application quiz. They're not exactly the same problem, but at least they're similar so that I can help you on these quizzes. So um, I have to go teach a class at 9 o'clock, but I will come back later today or maybe tomorrow morning to go over some other questions, number one and three. Um, that I typed up that are similar and I will share those with you guys um, before end of this week so that you can use them for your quiz, okay?